our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. 36-year-old champion against 29-year-old challenger. You can see a beautiful record by both. 12 and two for Julia, six and oh undefeated. For Olga Rubin, is that age difference gonna matter? Let's get this thing started. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, Bellator MMA Live on Paramount Network from Windstar World Casino and Resort. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Featherweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Chickasaw Nation Office of the Gaming Commissioner Scott Colbert. Supervising at cage side Deputy Haskell Alexander. Tonight's world title fight brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste, only 96 calories. And now, first, introducing the blue corner at 5 foot 8, weighing in 143.5 pounds in her first oh, world that. title fight. She brings six professional victories without a defeat. Fighting out of Tel Aviv, Israel, introducing the undefeated challenger, Big Bad Olga Rubin. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 145 pounds, even in her third defense of the title. She enters with 12 professional victories, two defeats. Fighting out of Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada, the defending Bellator featherweight world champion, presenting Julia the Shuhan. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Jason Herzog. But it's gone over the rules in the back. There were no final questions from you, Blue. There were no final questions from you, Red. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Come out, ready to fight. The jewel out of Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada. You see the belt? It's on the line once again. Tel Aviv, Israel's Israel, Olga Rubin wants Fight. to take it across the sea. And here we go! Tonight's Fight Clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Head kick early from Julia Budd. Everything you're gonna see in the beginning is about getting that feel of foot position. Both girls are gonna be trying to kind of step outside of that lead leg. And so it's gonna be a push. You're gonna see them kind of moving themselves and it's gonna be a push actually towards the referee, Jason Herzog right now. And who can establish that outside position because whoever does is gonna be able to land either that straight left or straight right hand. That time Olga caught the leg for a moment, tried to return fire with the left. Juan Archuleta rooting for the champion, Julia Budge. She certainly has been on fire, but you know what, Juan? So have you, my friend. <laughs> and we look forward to your fight against the champion, Patricio Pitbull. Yeah, it was the last fight of Julia Budd against Noguera that you look and you go, and she's starting to get it. She's starting to realize how good she is. She's feeling comfortable in there. And that confidence, when you have a nice kick by Julia Budd, you have that confidence, you become so much more relaxed in the fight, which just makes the fight easier. And her comment afterwards, John, was, I put everything together for the first time in my 14th professional fight, and this is a fighter with a 12 and 2 record. <laughs> exactly. You know, right now you're seeing both girls. I said that Olga Rubin needs to back Julia Budd up. If she can get Julia Budd to back up, that's an important part of her winning this fight. Right now she's trying. She's trying to put that pressure. And you see Julia is not giving any kind of space on it. She's sticking to her ground. This is going to be interesting to see how this trans, all this movement starts to come about and see what happens. That was a big oh, shot. Yeah, big shot. Trouble. This could be it. Body shot hurt Ruben. Uh, Ruben the finish is here, over. and it is all over. That's what we're Just about. like that, Julia Budd. How impressive! This is what I'm talking about. That's that confidence. You can see it. She is learning that you know what? I am a bad, bad woman. 
I can take anybody. And that confidence is growing because Olga Rubin has been outstanding in all of her fights. And Julia just ran through her. That was a beautiful body kick. Second. Shut her opponent down. And then it was over. Let's watch this kick. You're going to see it come straight up. That back leg straight to the diaphragm. You see her, that hand covering up, and she's just biting down, trying to get air. It's not coming into her lungs at that point. Her body is seizing up. You can see it. The toes and the ball of the foot landed beautifully, exactly like you would teach it. And here come the punches. And she just cannot stop anything. She's trying. It's a horrible position to be in. What a beautiful performance by the jewel, Julia Budd. Another knee to the body, that's it. There's her husband and the reaction of her husband, her head coach. You would think he might get excited. You think so? And her stepson, <laughs> the Gibson family, Julia Budd, the jewel, remains the featherweight world champion. We are back live on Paramount Network after this. The champion defends once again, and she will certainly be popping a bottle of La Chamin Dua. Congratulations, Julia Budd, with the official decision, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, it comes to an end officially inside the Bellator cage. Two minutes, 14 seconds into round number one. The winner by TKO and still Bellator. Featherweight World Champion, Julia the Chuha Bud. Julia Bud with a vicious body shot in the belt around her waist, and here's Big John. I am here with your champion, Julia Bud. That was an incredibly strong front kick that landed to her diaphragm, put her down. How did you feel once you saw her starting to hold her, her stomach? What did you know? I knew it was close to being over, so I just kept attacking, and yeah, it was awesome. We talked before this fight about your confidence and you as a fighter growing because you've always had the potential, you've always had that skill, but it's the matter of believing in yourself and what you can do. How are you feeling about what you can do in this cage now? Uh, I feel great. I feel like I've come into my own, and yeah, I just had to start loving myself more not being so hard on myself. So um, that's kind of been the last year and a half and uh, I'm going only up from here. Of all the girls out there right now, is there anyone that you look at that is 
a person that deserves a shot at that title. Uh, yes, for sure. I think Leslie did great tonight. Um, so Leslie Smith, for sure. I'm super excited that she came over from uh, came over to Bellator. So um, that's big. And then I'd love to fight in Ryzen against a big lady named Gabby Garcia. Um, I want to make history. And uh, my husband fought guys that were over 100 pounds heavier than him when he started. So it's kind of like a family goal of ours. That's a good goal, ladies and gentlemen. Your featherweight champion, the Jewel. Julia Budd, make it 11 straight, make it a third title defense, make it 7 and all for the Jewel, the one and only Bellator women's featherweight champion, Julia Budd. Don't forget, next time we will see you is Saturday, August 24th, right here on the Paramount Network from Bridgeport, Connecticut, heavyweights Matt Mitrione. And Sergey Karatanov will meet once again. We anticipate nothing less than an all out war. And our coverage continues on the Bellator app and the zone. Three more fights, including the debut professionally of Chris Brennan, San Lucas, and the always entertaining Brazilian, Bruna Ellen. What a night for. The Canadian from beautiful British Columbia, Julia Budd. Mercedes got us on the air. Rafael Lovato with the smile on his face. His banner unveiled here at home.